Shalom, brothers and sisters. So I want to read to you from Matthew chapter 10, from 29. Are not two sparrows sold for a copper coin, and not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's will? But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. God loves us. God's got us. The Holy Spirit is with us in all things, good and bad. And that is why we have verses in the Bible like, to live is Christ and to die is gain, because we are ultimately victorious in that we have Christ Jesus, who has saved us, covered us in his blood, made us acceptable, and brought us through the throne of grace. And we can stand before the Father, accepted, part of the family, sons and daughters of the Most High, the Bride of Christ waiting to be collected. We are worth so much more than mere sparrows. And he takes the time to note exactly when a sparrow falls. He knows about it. Every hair on your head is numbered. 47, 63. He knows that kind of detail down to that kind of minute. It's incredible. It's a, it's a love and a level of depth that we cannot even begin to understand. And many times in life, we get wrapped up in the latest attack of the devil and his minions on us, on our finances, on our businesses, on our lives, on our personal relationships, on all these things. And we get caught up in them and we worry and we stress and we look into the storm and we measure the wave peaks and we look at how small our boat is and we do the maths and we really start stressing. We prepare ourselves for failure. But animals don't do that. They have a raw, deep trust and an absolute childlike acceptance of what will be will be. The person I'm with loves me. I, I'm a cat person, so we have cats. I have four cats. The one that really just crawls into my heart, Kelly. She will come and check on me when she thinks there's trouble consistently. So in a cat's mind... If you go to the bathroom, you're in trouble. She'll come and check that you're okay. If you're bathing or anything else, she's there. But other than that, she's living her life. She knows that at a certain time of day, morning and evening, it is time to go to her food bowl. And miraculously, there will be food. Her and her sisters. It just happens. And in the odd case that there isn't food, she'll check with us what's going on. She's very vocal. And then if nothing changes, she'll go outside and catch something. She doesn't love us less. She doesn't get stressed out or moody or sulky or go sit in the corner. She still has those moments, usually during the morning when I'm alone, she'll come to me and she desperately needs her love cup filled. And she'll purr and she'll push and she'll want attention and she'll be all over me. And she'll fill up her love cup, show me she loves me and off she goes again. To live her day. She doesn't stress about tomorrow. She doesn't worry about the future. She knows someone that loves me is checking my water bowls, my food bowls, my health, making sure I'm okay, where I am when we go to bed, where I am when we wake up. She knows. This is how we should be in our lives. Times are tough right now. Tribulation about to start it is wickedness at the highest level, darkness overwhelming, attacks increasing, our full armor of God on all the time, because we are in a raw battle towards that finish line. It is the final push towards the end. And the numbers look overwhelming to us. But we forget that God is with us. He stands right by us. He has our back. And he is with us all the while. We just need to relax, trust, and rest in his presence. Go fill our love cups in him as often as possible. Take our fears, our stresses, our worries, and lay it at his feet. 
and just hold on to him, cling to the hem of his garment for as long as we can. And he's got us to the very end. Don't forget that. God bless. Have a great day. Shalom.